got this sort of vocal pad that I created for my voice, where I just sung harmonies and auto-tuned the hell out of them, that's for sure. These all sound very melodyne. And then ran those through some hardware effects as well. I think this is the this one effect that I like on the H3000. Really sort of eerie, phased out, flangey sound. Did someone ask, did I already know all these techniques from making like dance music before? Yeah, like I did all the same stuff when I was making dance music. Um, so using it in this context is kind of just, you know, it doesn't really matter what genre these techniques get used on, it can be used on anything. Uh, yeah. And someone also asked, would you use software reverbs instead of like hardware delays and such? And I do all the time. I kind of use a lot of software stuff as placeholders when writing demos and stuff. And then I try and do as much as I can outside of the box when the time comes to wrapping stuff up. I'll start with the acoustic. So there's some basic steel string stuff. The dry take all on its own right here. You can hear nice and mono take. I probably recorded it with the same microphone I'm talking into right now, which is like a super cheap electro voice. With the rest of us. It's kind of like weird vocal takes. Um, again, just EQ, no compression on these. Kind of with a lot of these extra takes, I like to compress on the bus instead at the end. But just putting some small re room reverbs, plate reverbs on them. This punch as well. With the rest of us. Kind of just help fill it all out with the ad libs. With the rest of us. And then that all together sounds like. Mm -hmm. With the rest of us. Kind of a full chorus of myself. 